All right, let's see if we're live. Let's see. Good I just day. got a notification on the laptop said Turtle Boy Sports is live. Let's get this party hey, started, shall we? Yeah. Yo, Timbo Slice, man. MCOD. It get cold like Minnesota. Free my homie Sosa. Lean dog like cola. Chop phone beat with a roller. Off that egg, I'm frozen. We got some city touching. Purple drink, I'm going. Mayo pie, I'm going. Off the lean, I'm scoring. Flexing in rough flooring. Trying to come before it. Like the sun, I'm glowing. No GK, I'm stowing. Bitch, my shooter up and then he blow his hands down. Ambitious flow the coldest Off the molly rolling Smoking on the boat Off the train heavy Moving in slow motion Bad boy stuff in hot box Got me bang like I'm in the oven Fuck, that's your favorite rapper Do it like it's nothing Fucking thought he's never come from I can't show no love Stuff that I've been on some more Bitch, I'm geeked up off the drugs Simbo throw with slugs Hitting on the train drugs Bring your dash and suck my nuts Gucci on my drawers Bitch, I'm getting tired Bitch, I'm getting tired Not all in the jar Bitch, I'm popping bars And I'm smoking herb, man I'm geeked up like a nerd You know it's MCOD Family first Talking shit on Sosa Now he on the shirt Copping pies of syrup Yeah, I'm sipping dirt All right, we live, we live, we live. All right, what's up, Turtle Riders, and welcome to uh, the Turtle Boy Live Show. What I'm going to be doing right now is I am going to be going ahead and changing the name of this one, Turtle Boy Live, call in with Linda, she's on the agenda, and some other, ch Pat Chung talk is on there, and other stuff. All right, we'll call it that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead right now. Um. If you guys are watching out there, uh, I would wish you all are, obviously. If you're watching right now, uh, I am going to go ahead and share this link, right, on the Philip V. Prentice Facebook page. And I would ask you all, if you would so kindly kind of do the same to let people know, uh, because we are trying to increase our audience on YouTube, our subscriber base, which, by the way, Brett, did you see we added 100 people today? It's like a new record. I got it. Shortly after you said something about it today, it shot up. Yeah, I was fucking psyched. I can't, I can't suck dick for new subscribers, Brett. Like I don't, like I get, I, I put please out there all the time. I literally say please and shit. I get like ten a day, maybe you know. And then today we sat at a hundred. I don't know. I think people are anticipating this episode tonight because it's gonna be a good one. We have a, a a person here. She's on for Ratchet Redemption Hour. We will see if she redeems herself. I'm guessing no. That's my preliminary prediction. Uh, so anyway, before we go any further, let's just get started here with the podcast. Let's do a little quick read. Uh, remind you guys, uh, this episode is brought to you by our good friends over at Garage Doors Plus in Quincy. If you have one of those old rickety garages or you have uh, a garage that already has a garage door on it, but the, maybe the system's broken or whatever, or if you have one of those old garages that's turned into a freaking trash hump, Time to get with the times, folks. Call up our friends at Garage Doors Plus in Quincy. They will come over your house that day. All right. My buddy Chris is going to give you a price that is so fair. You're not going to know what to do with yourselves. You're going to hire him on the spot. He's going to come call his buddies up. They're going to install it that day. Uh, and he's going to get a nice little clicker at the end of it. You're going to press a button and your garage door is going to go up. You're going to go into the house. You're going to get out. Press a button again. It's going to go down. It's going to change your life forever. I have one. I swear by it. All right. I've hired them before. They're fantastic. All right. The best way to support Turtle Boy is to support our advertisers. So definitely go online. You can find them online at gdplus.com. That's gdplus.com, Garage Doors Plus in Quincy. And give them a call if you uh, ever need any garage door needs. All right. So also you'll notice in uh, the link, I, I believe I've shared this on the Philip. Uh, v Prentice page. So if you guys, anybody on Facebook want to share that, get the word out. Clarence Wood Emerson is uh, on his second week right now of a 30-day suspension. So he will not be on 
for quite some time. You can also find us uh, online until then on, on Facebook at the Turtle Boy Sports Super Terrific Happy Page, which is closing in on 10,000 followers. On Twitter at, at TB Sporty, which really took off this week. And uh, our personal page, Facebook page this week, which is Philip V. Prentice. All right. Uh, you can also, you guys, there's a link in the show you're watching right now for the Turtle Boy Shop. All right, a great way to support what we're doing because we're kind of like self-funded at this point. We don't make that much money off of advertising anymore, as you guys know, because we're blacklisted from like every ad network. Uh, the great way to support us is by going on the Turtle Boy store and getting something. I made new shirts this week. I haven't advertised it yet, really, that say, uh, I didn't choose the blog life. The blog life chose me. That was a very popular thing. Some Turtle Boys <laughs> came up with. Very creative. I like that. Those are on sale now, uh, etc. So, Definitely go ahead and hit that up if you like, or just donate, whatever. We take anything at all. I don't give a shit. I have no shame. I'll definitely take donations, whatever. All right. Why don't we start off this episode like we do every episode with a little roll call. Let us know in the comments right now, where are you repping from as we speak? Where are you at? Let us know in the comments where are you repping right now. Go ahead. Oh, Brittany said she just ordered a pink TV tank top this week. Oh, yes, I did nice. see that. Yes, she's going to look fly in that one. Very fly up in her switch. All right, they're rolling in now. Stop reading them. They go too fast. Me, what do they got there? I, I'm, I'm not even on it right now. I'm taking a look. Got a little football computer. What oh, well, fuck's sake. Let's see. What do we got so All far? Right, let's I'll see. I'll go on. I'll read it. Right. White Mountains, Alpine, Texas, Kansas City, Rochester, New Hampshire, Auburn, Milford, Mass, Princeton. I know they don't know that. Wi-Fi. Mm. Aubrey, Taunton, Melrose, Milford. There they are. Uh, Dennis, Mel, another Melrose, Somerville, ba Brattleboro, New Braintree. Now here they're coming in. Yeah, another Milford. Man, a lot of Milfords in here tonight. Douglas is in the house. Worcester's in the house. Somerville's in the house. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Weymouth's in the house. Another Milford's in the house. Man, a lot of Milford's here. Uh, Wareham is well, in the house. Yeah. What'd you say, Brett? Yeah, this guy, I'm happy there's people from Milford. Yes. This is kind of a big deal for yeah, that town, exactly. I think, tonight. Just a reminder, Milford, guys, we're having our first live event. We're doing Turtle Boy Live from the Central Tavern in Milford on October 19th. We asked for a $20 donation at the door that's going to go to our legal fund. We're treating this like a fundraiser. And they were going to have raffles, all types of shit. It's going to be a good night out. Uh, Milford's kind of centrally located. It's kind of why we picked Milford. But anyway, yeah, Milford is ready to rock, it looks like. So uh, we are going to start off, I think, Brett, oh, people keep coming here, Conway, Milford, etc. I think we should start off with this story out of Milford since we got all these Milford people here, no? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so. It's, it's the best one, in my opinion. Of course, so. yeah. Let's go. Ah, let's do it. So, a little background. If you guys missed this, I think we blogged about it yesterday. So, the Hadassah thing is still going on. We are, I've kind of pretty much finished the junk, you know, the meat of it all. All the information's in there. There'll be some other stuff trickling in here and there on there. But I've covered all the bases. I mean, I mean, it's probably like 50,000 words when you add up all these freaking blogs. It's insane. And, you know, um... The question is now, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to take action? And that's what we're going to focus on next. And we're going to do it the legal way, obviously. Uh, we don't need... I feel like... Brett, do you feel like this woman has broken any laws, Hadassah? Um, maybe, but not not like she's being accused of. Like, I, I fucking... No way, shape, or form will I feel bad for this fucking piece of shit. Because I do think she's guilty of elder abuse handicap abuse or whatever that's called but as far as the rest like we talked about last time you can't she didn't break any laws by spending money poorly you know what i mean so there's not really much she police can do about this laws. She, i mean she never filed her taxes oh no yeah well yeah. that stuff and uh the, what about the she like miss miss she miss, she said that money raised was going for some things and it was going for other things. To me, that's fraud. Yeah. Right. And the, the entire thing, I mean, there's a serious lack of regulation here, obviously. Something needs to be done about this. Something needs to be done. Now, leave it to us, though. Go ahead. This is what we do, right? We, when we took down Mosaic Cultural Complex, we didn't do it by making shit up. We stuck to the facts. 
We found out everything about them, and you know, it's fine. Like, and with Greg Bates, we didn't we exposed Greg Bates one thousand percent, right? But he's still going, and there's nothing we can do about it because we we told the IRS they didn't give a shit. It is what it is, all right. Sometimes these guys get away. Candy Candy Dennis from Beverly, if you recall, remember that one, Brett, the dance teacher, like a month later, after Greg Bates. I think so. Yes. She, she had a dance studio there, and they were doing a lot of shady shit. And I don't, I forget. I, I honestly, it's been so long. I honestly forget what she did. But Candy Dennis, her, she shut down her whole business like, uh, like a few days into the the blog series on it. So my point being, sometimes these things take care of themselves, and sometimes they don't. And if we don't get, if if nothing happens, if Greg Bates gets away with it, he gets away with it. If Hadassah gets away with it. She gets away with it. We're going to try to not let that happen, but we're not going to break any laws if it does happen, right? If it doesn't happen, rather, yeah. right? That's what I'm getting at here. And evidently, now the problem with Turtle Boy is, now, and there's nothing I can do to fix this or whatever. We have a big audience, Brett, right? And I feel... It's just weird. This is why, and not to, like, I'm not shitting on anyone in particular besides that fucking cunt that the fucking fake call, but it seems like people get so worked up and so attached to it that they either think that, look, this is how I stand out. This is how I get mentioned in a blog. Mm -hmm. And this is how, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they try way too fucking hard sometimes. Yeah. To, and in all honesty, nothing but like to impress you. And sometimes I feel to impress me. They're like, hey, Brett, look what I you're said to even, this guy's mother. Yeah, not even like, like us. Not that, even, that's you're not, yeah. not me. Not even, like, <laughs> not even me and you, Brett, Just, but just like other turtle riders. Like today I saw it today, right? You know, um, I, I got a couple messages today and I posted them, like threatening messages I got from people or whatever. I posted them on Phil just because it's kind of funny. Getting, I like to let people know that this shit doesn't bother me, etc. I love those things. And then it's fine. But what I really fucking hate, and I'm not going to tell anyone to stop doing this because I don't believe in telling people to stop speaking. It's not my place to do that. It's just uh, somebody posted in there like a screenshot of a message they sent to the guy. And it's he's, they're calling him a retard, all this stuff. And it's just like, yeah. do you think that fucking like impresses anyone? Like, I'm sorry. Like, let me just tell you guys that right there. If you message someone, right, that we blog about, right? Then just fucking do it. Like don't what don't what you shouldn't do is then screenshot it and then post it on our page. Like anybody gives a flying fuck. Like anybody's gonna be impressed by that. Literally, no one is impressed ever by the fact that you. Did no one learn anything from the fucking thick twat? Fuck my bottom incident. Maybe they didn't pay attention. Like it's not. Up yeah. doesn't want it. Yeah. Up doesn't need it. And yeah, before, and I've seen some people in the comments, especially on the app and the website, oh, well, that's nothing compared to what Brett the You're not me. I'm a special case. Our unk knows I'm borderline special needs, and I'm fucking nuts. Yeah. Don't compare yourself to me. Yeah. Compare yourself to you. And mm -hmm. if you want to be helpful, like you said, buy a fucking t-shirt. Yeah. Literally, that t-shirt that says, what the fuck is the one with my quote? A lot of people like pussy. You, you ain't, ain't special, special motherfucker. Yeah. That's literally fifteen dollars. By the way, that's, fifteen bucks yeah. for a fucking great T-shirt, and you help out a blog you claim to support. Yeah, exactly. What you don't do is cause extra fucking problems. Precisely, precisely. And and and, and when you send a message like that, it's like even if you're not causing a problem. It's like, fucking roasted him. Oh, here's a screenshot of me sending a message and then getting no response back. Oh, fuck, son. That shit was fucking awesome. He's scared to like, answer me. Right, that's like... No, you pee like, on the stranger is, about his kid yeah. he hasn't talked to in five years and called them both pieces of shit. Yeah, like, do you think... Of course he didn't answer, you what, fucking moron. It's what an is adult. Like, what is going through the minds, Brett, of people that do that? It's like, are you that desperate for, like, affirmation? just get too excited. Yeah, maybe they, they just get too excited, too excited yeah. I think. Part of me is like, I get it. The other part is me like, dude, we're in enough fucking trouble. We don't fucking need your bullshit on top of it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do something, fine. If it causes trouble, man or woman the fuck up and yeah. own it. Yeah, exactly. If not, just read the blogs, make a couple comments, a couple laugh emojis, maybe a fire emoji like Uncle likes, and leave it the fuck at that. Yeah. 
Exactly. You know, you don't need to help. Yep. So anyway, it's just my opinion. Um, I want to talk about. Uh, so so let's talk about this particular how it pertains to this situation this week. We had this this whole thing go down, and it's moving slowly to get Hadassah out. That's going to take time. However, somebody decided they didn't want to wait. And this woman earlier, her name's Linda Andino. And about a week and a half ago, Linda messaged me like when this blog series first started coming out. And she's like, I got a story for you. You know, like I got this whole thing. Okay. She had nothing. She had literally nothing to offer. I still don't understand what her connection to Milford is. Somehow she has a connection there. I don't freaking know. All right. So this woman, act, she inserted herself into the story as some people are apt to do because they want to become Turtle Boy. Just le just enjoy the ride. You, do you don't have to fucking commandeer the ride. Just fucking enjoy the ride. That's it. But this woman felt the need that I'm going to be the fucking hero here. And I got added to this group message the other day of, called Shut Down the GRC. I didn't form it. Someone else did. I just got added to it. So I'm seeing all these messages come in. And this one woman... Uh, Linda's in there, and she's all, she's an all caps lock, Brady, uh, uh, Brett. And, and from my previous Turtle Boy history with caps lock people, that's usually like a sign of ratchetness right away. No, or a little bit unhinged. Right, like, unhinged. The word. But so, who's your favorite? Guy? Right, just side note: Who's your favorite all caps lock ah, character ever? And I bet it's the same as mine. Obviously, Wanda. Right? Caps lock. Uh, you know, a lot of the newer people won't remember that, ah. but remember every comment, all caps. All caps, all the time. So the, you knew <laughs> she was serious. So, murdered. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, like, you look at this chick, you're like, it, there's no better way to describe it than like if losing Kino tickets out of face. Like, so this chick, it's like, I'm embarrassed to have, I, I'm embarrassed to have fans like this. Like, I, I am. I'll take any fans I can get, but I would prefer a little bit more highbrow. A little bit more attractive because I think turtle riders are generally very attractive, etc. So this is what she writes. Somebody in the group says, "Scanner alert! Just heard a call to the so-called shelter. A woman and children are being held there against their will." And she responds, "Results fire emoji all the way from Maine people." So this bitch is sitting in Maine, right, messaging and bragging about how she just called the cops on Hadassah, and he isn't. She's telling everyone like she thinks it's fucking cool. Like she's like. Ha, uh, I sent them there. She's all done now. I got the Boston police involved. Shh, don't tell nobody. And then she gets mad when she finds out that the cops just left without arresting him. She's like, fuck, oh my God, what the fuck? I will be right back. As in, like, she's going to fucking call again. You know what I mean? Uh, and so, <laughs> here she is again admitting Let me to tell him to turn around. Yeah, she goes, you know nothing about any calls. You went to the police. That's it. And so she's telling this other woman now. To cover up for her. She goes, I could care less. I ain't scared. Let them call me. If he asks about a phone call, you have no idea. So now he's forcing other people to become involved in her crime. Because what she did is criminal. Because no one at the Gay and Rivka Center was being held against their will. Now, I will be blamed for this. No doubt in my mind. I have a freaking harassment order hearing with Hadassah on Thursday. There is no doubt in my mind she will tell that judge that I called the cops on her. It's a complete lie. Whatever. But, and of course I can prove I didn't, but it's one more thing that I have to do. Not you. The person who called will not have to answer for this. I will. Nope. So if you are a fan of this and you're just creating more work for me, not for you, for me, okay, then you're not a fucking fan. You're a douchebag. Quit being a douchebag. Boy. Absolutely. And, and so somebody else, they, they ask her, did you call the police? So I ask her. I, I, I know this woman at this point called up, right? I know she did this. And I now my I go into this, I'm like, okay, I'm going to give her, in Bristol and South Shore, they were all looking for blood. They're like, fucking eviscerate this chick. Send the message. They're like, you got to send a message. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to like, I think, you know, I got to be the Solomon, Brett, the King Solomon of this show. Like, I can't be vengeful. Like, the leader, the captain of the ship has to be wise, Right? It cannot be like bloodthirsty. That's how you turn into fucking Robespierre. You know, shit gets pretty wild in there. I gotta be like a, a deep thinker. I gotta be like a George Washington kind of guy. And so I can't just burn the, everything down. I need to, I gotta be like Lincoln. Lincoln after the Civil War, he could have fucking punished the shit out of the South. Instead, he's like, no, we need to figure shit out. We need to reunite. 
So I need to tell, I need to let this woman know that she fucked up. I need, but at the same time, I need to let her know, I, I need to elicit an apology from her that comes naturally without me asking for one. That, that was my goal here. And so I'm like, did you call the police? No. So I know she's lying. Uh, I go, if you did, you better tell me. If I did, I, w I would not tell you. I would have, if I did, I would tell you I have not called anyone. Sure about that? And I keep going. And then I'm like, I, and I'll make it clear. I'm like, look at bitch. You read Turtle Boy. You, you know in your heart that you did this. So you might as well just fucking tell me because it's not going to end well if you lie. I can forgive you if you come clean now. But if you lie, I will not forgive. And so she goes, I was scared to tell you. But I'm glad I told you now. I'm calling them. So I'm like, that's what I wanted to hear. Right? Because I understand Brett. Right? And it's an unfortunate side effect of Turtle Boy. Is that people are scared of me. And they shouldn't be. Right? And, and I, I, I re it's a part of this that I they hate the most. Because nobody should be scared of me. Uh, I am not, a, I'm not here to fucking destroy anyone. I'm just here to like, you know, if you're doing something really ratchet, I suppose. Right? But if you're just a decent person. In, if you fucked up once, I'm, you don't have to fucking fear me, you know? So I don't want people to fear, and, and that's clearly what, I, that's why I felt bad for this woman. I'm like, I bet she's scared. Yeah. You know, it's just not mine. I know, and that's why I'm the captain of the ship, Brett, <laughs> right? Like, you've seen... Yeah, no, absolutely. Right. If it was left to me, this blog would have ended about a year and a half, <laughs> two years ago, if it was left to my devices. Right. <laughs> and that's what you gotta look at, right? Like... Like, there's this Facebook army, the Turtle Boy Army group, right? The Facebook group. I'm not involved in that oh, group. No. And people oh. message, And I, I, I vaguely followed it, and it looks like it all went to hell, right? And that's what happens, Brett, when a page has no leadership, right? When you don't have fucking wise no. leadership at top, everything fucking blows up. You need a, a, you need a tempered leader, right, who doesn't get emotional and doesn't, like, act impulsively or else it all blows up. That's really important. So I wanted to let this woman know, you don't have to be scared of me. And I knew she might. And she admits it, and I go, thank you. That's it. Now what I need you to do is I need you to call the AS, whoever you call, the ASPCA or the cops, whoever, and you need to let them know, I, I was the one that did this. This was false. I did this on my own. Nobody told me to do this because I'm not taking a fall for this. Right? And she said she was going to do that. But then I start getting messages, right? She's texting other people, telling them, delete uh, delete my number out of your call log, go to Messenger, Turtle Boy is calling the police on me, I'm going to get out of all these groups because this is fucking bullshit, he's only in it for himself, can you believe that? And, and that's when I, was, as soon as I saw that, fuck you, No, nope, the next spot is the one that got me mad, yeah. keep reading it. He does fucking not, rat. Yeah, Piece he does not shit. have to call you the police fuck you, you and tell them shit. Cunt. He is a rat bastard. Like on that now, now I'm, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, this woman lied to me that she's gonna like go to the police. She's like clearly just fucking lying to me. Fuck her, right? She's calling me a rat. Now, now I'm angry, Brett. Now I have reason to be yeah, vengeful. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Now we can fucking chop off heads. Fucking broad shits in your face and then tells you to give her a kiss. Fuck yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I decide I'm going to, like, you know, I message her back. I'm like, did you call the cops? But wait a second. Wait, oh. wait, wait, real quick. Like you said, though, this is a broad who, I think it was last week, was sucking your dick like the antidote was in it, sure. talking about how great Journal Boy Sports is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll and you go it. from that. So you follow the blog. You know what it is they do. Yeah. You and Kate, like how you guys dig and find out shit that no one fucking knows. You know that going in. And then you choose to lie to your face and then talk shit about you behind your back, yep. thinking you would never know about it. Yep, exactly. Good luck with that, yeah, kid. That's not that. how this works, man. And that's what right, I'm, I'm like, sorry to that's what I realize. <laughs> I, I'm dealing with a, a bad person here. I'm dealing with a person who is fucking talking shit behind my back, like calling me a rat, like... After I just fucking uh, gave her mercy, like, oh no, you gotta literally, pay. you just let her off the hook. Yeah, you gotta pay the you price. Just, friend. You just yeah. said, listen, I'm not gonna out you. Let's just go on from here. Yeah. It's like, okay, someone told that piece of shit rat. It's like, oh, yeah. lady, what are that? you doing? Yeah, and she goes on and said, I let someone use my phone, and that's that. So she's now she's like saying that, oh, maybe it was somebody else. I let someone use my phone. Okay, fuck, you're gonna double down on that. We're going to play this game, huh, cunt? Okay. 
And then she starts messaging me about messages from Bristol, right? I don't even know, like, talking about her, how crazy this lady is. I don't know how she got a hold of him. She's like, look, I do not know who Kate thinks she is, but she is full of shit. I'm in Milford, Mass. right now. She can call her friends, the police. She's, she knows, she can't even spell knows, N-O apostrophe S. Oh, good God. Yes, yeah. But she better keep my name out of her mouth, defying my character. Defying her, oh, she has a lot of character, Brett. We can't, we have to protect Linda's character at all costs. This is a charge in itself right there, and she works for you. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, you told me like an hour ago that you called the police. I never admitted that I called the police. Okay, so now we're just pretending that didn't happen an hour ago. Now you're going to play this fucking yeah. game. Now you're treating me like I'm retarded, right? And don't, don't fucking do that. Do not treat me like I'm stupid. It's like, Brett, she's like, this is like a go-to model of how to make me mad, right? Of, of, of taking me calm. How do, you, how do you take Uncle Turtle Boy calm and make him mad? Step one, call him a rat. Step two, lie to him space. multiple times, right? Step three, uh, treat him like a retard. Like, that's how she's treating him. such a bad fucking thought process yeah. from beginning to end. Yeah, and then step four, tell me, do you know what I do for a living? Yes, you collect Social Security. You do nothing. You get fucking and, evicted from and, fucking apartments. Wait, what did you say? It's like if if losing Kino tickets had a face. Yes, that's that what it was. That's what it, I mean, that's the best way I can describe her face. It looks like a, a uh, never drinking ending. Drinking natty drafts at the dive bar for a buck and playing Kino. Yeah, that's exactly what like, the fuck she looks you like, do, lady. Like those, like losing scratch tickets on the bar uh, that you double check just in case it's a winner. That's her, right? So, um. You know, she's like telling me, all, and she's still kind of blowing me a little bit, telling me like, oh, well, you're a great investigator, but Kate needs to keep her mouth shut about me. Nah, she'll say, she comes, she's number two around here basically at this point, right? Brett and, and you guys are like yeah. n number two, right? And Sasha Turtle Girl is probably after that, and then the rest. So, you know, don't, you don't tell her to shut her mouth. She's above you in the range. So it's, it's not enough that, she lies to your face, calls you a retard, act, treats you like you're a retard, calls you a rat piece of shit. Then, like, that's not enough. I haven't gotten in enough trouble yet. Let me shit on Kate Bristol. Yeah. Yep. Look, I, yeah. I really think maybe she's got end-stage cancer and she's just trying to end it. Yeah. Because why would you poke two turtles, yeah. especially that lunatic, fucking Kate? Yeah. She'll make it her fucking weekend hobby to destroy you, you fucking idiot. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So, Jesus. people are asking, call her. Let me just get through this, and I'm going to call her up, okay? Because she said she's coming on. She goes, who is the liar here? Not me. You are. So, carry on with your lies. You just sent that to a certain person. I cropped it. Whatever you do, I'm not scared of you. I have a lot more where that came from. What's this? Run back and forth. I know your name. Maddie sent that. Like, what is she talking about? Like, faux show, she says. Faux show. What the fuck does that mean? I'm not a liar. You know what? I think you should talk to your friend. I'm not protecting anyone any longer. I will even put that conversation up. You want to talk? Let's talk. I will no longer be protecting anyone. It just goes on and on. It makes no sense. It's on like Donkey Kong. People still say that? So anyway, she said that... No, she, no, they don't. Yeah, they, exactly. She put the fucking app of the Bible. <laughs> right. She. This is my favorite. Fuck this shit. It is not getting blamed on me. And she sends me a screenshot of her phone... And it's the fucking Bible. She has an app of the Bible. Like, what is that even supposed to mean? I don't fucking know. No, uh, no. What's more, what's more crazy to me is the app next to it. ID Go, because she sits there and gets ideas from serial killer shows and missing people shows and shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, let me call her ID up. ID channel? Let me call her up uh, right now, uh, because she said she'd come on in. Let's see. Call her up. Here we go. Alright, I'll be good, cop. Like, oh, you should just talk to each other. There we go. Shouldn't be so mean. <laughs> oh, it's her. It's... Hey, is this Linda? How you doing, Turtle Boy? Good, how are you? Good. Okay. Hang on one second. I want to put my sister on the line uh, on a three way call, so we'll pause for a minute. Your sister's coming on. Uh, yeah, she's coming on, yeah. too. Okay, so we're, we're Turtle Riders, you hear that? We're having an added bonus 
The sister's coming on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. It might pause for a minute, but don't hang up. Oh, uh, believe me, we're not hanging up. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Cancel by proxy. Hello, you there? Did we lose her? She said she's bringing no, her... No, she's plotting with her sister okay, on a three-way call. Okay, so you're you, you're on with who? Who's Who else is with you? Your sister? What's your sister's name? Well, first of all, you have to turn off the YouTube. We can hear it in the background. What? Oh, my fucking God. We're off to a tough start. You have to turn off the YouTube in the background. We can hear the echo. Yeah, that's me. Wait a minute. There you go. Okay, you turn it off? All right, don't shake your head. You know what I you do? Don't you? Oh, yeah, I forgot you can see me. All right, so all right, so this is Linda, and who's your sister? Don't shake that. My sister's Lori. Okay, uh, Laura. Hi, Lori. Hi. Oh, hi. Right, okay. All right, hi. so uh, good. Thank you. So let's talk about what happened yesterday. You go first. Explain yourself. Explain myself? Yeah. I have nothing to explain. Well, you called, you, you, you made a false call to the I authority. I never made a false call ever. Never, huh? Never. Never, I never once. I called Craig Stanley for Chrissy on uh, a few, last Wednesday, on three-way call with Chrissy and me, and then Chrissy said then it was a year that they hadn't seen her. Craig went and found her and said she was in some uh, residential center. That's the only phone call that I made to the police. Then Chrissy called me after that, uh, the other day, he, not yesterday, I think yeah, it was yesterday afternoon, when she called me to tell me that um, Hadassah's son had called and said the house was full of fleas, and she gave me some number, I wrote it down on a cigarette box that you posted. Of course she wrote it on and a I cigarette box. That, and yeah. I called and I told them that to go and check out 16 and 18 Cedar Street, Lopez, Massachusetts, because of a flea infestation. Then okay. I called them back and asked them if they followed up on it, and they said they knew nothing about it. Okay. So, first of all, can I ask you a question? Yep. Do you smoke Newports? Never in my life. Parliaments? What's your brand? Camel wide. Camel. That, that's I didn't know camel was so okay. So um, here's the problem with you with what you just told so me. So many jokes here. here. Here's the problem with what you just told me. I see multiple instances, multiple messages, in which you explicitly said yesterday, like that you sent the cops there. You said here's a here's a text message you said in which you said I sent them there. Okay. Here's another one. In which people say that, so, that is a that is a uh, screenshot oh, and then uh, you cross it. That's all a bunch of bullshit. Okay, how about this one? How about this one? Somebody says scanner mm -hmm. alert. Just heard a call to the so-called shelter. A woman and children were being held against their will, and then you responded by saying results all the way from oh. Maine people. What is that supposed to mean? I have no clue. Oh, you know, well, here's what you he said. He said it, though. You said it. So what does that mean? You have no clue what you said? I have no clue what you're talking about. Well, I have a screenshot of what you said. You said results. What I'd like to talk about is what are you doing putting up a sexual assault that happened four years ago? What kind of a person are you? What are you, you talking have a about? You're in trouble life. Okay, we're going to get to that in a moment, but first, you're, you're dodging the issue. You're deflecting. You got, we have proof, like 1,000% proof, that you admitted multiple times that you contacted the authorities. You said, quote, results, all the way from Maine people. What does that mean, results? Could mean a hundred different things. It can't mean a hundred different things because you were wait, responding. Wait, wait, hold on. Go ahead, this, uh, What the fuck? Excuse me, ma'am. All I'm saying is you type that into that group chat or whatever. So you're the only one who knows what it means. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying what you meant. I but am. only one person typed that in. And it was you. What? So only you know what you meant. Doesn't that make sense? Oh, well, with all the things that he's so corrupt of and uh, corrupt. No, I don't, I don't care about, wait, wait, listen, I don't give a fuck about all that. I don't give a fuck about what he said, none of it. No, listen, lady, I'm not being shitty to you yet. 
I'm just saying, you type that in. Results all the way from me. Ba, 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 ba. Only you know what that means. You typed it. I don't care what he did and crops oh, and so fucking all this other shit. From, what do you call it? Uh, from the, the handicap woman. What? Look at I don't fuck you, the handicap woman. You lie. No. You're lying. Uh, okay. Ahead, uh, Here's the other <laughs> thing. Here's the other thing. So we have you have you oh. said that you said that you know results. You're talking about the cops being there. Results. Obviously, that implies that you called the cops. You also said literally, I sent them there. This guy's telling you, I saw the cops knocking on the shelter door with paperwork in their hand. I'm not going to get close to the officer, blah, blah, blah. And then you're... You oh, I was asking somebody what was going on, yeah. You weren't asking anything. You literally said, I sent them there. That's not a question. That's a declaration that I sent them them there. Well, Look, it's on the screen right so. there. What do you mean I if I say Boston so? Involved. What do you mean if you if I say so? We have proof that you did it. It says it right here. Is a screenshot of you saying that. Are you denying that? Right, you... right. But could he asked her to call? Oh, so you're admitting yeah, she did call. She asked me to call about the police. About the police, uh -huh. Wally. Not about, he's talking about calling the police. Oh, 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 oh. So you did call you yesterday. Called. You called yesterday. I called ASAP, whatever that place is, the animal place, the number that Christy <laughs> gave me about the fleas. Now, did you call Big Y? Did uh, you call Big, Big Y? The the one Big y. Why, now, why did, you, asked me to. why did you call Big Y? asked me to call Big Y, yes. Stop I blaming did. it on other people. Why did you call I'm Big Y? I'm not blaming it on anybody. I'm telling you what, I, what it was told to me. Why did you call the Big Y? Because Chrissy asked oh, me, she said she was on her way to work, and to call the big Y because all these people were lying and saying that Fatima was sending money. So I, I, what do you call it? I called the big Y. This girl, Bree, that works in customer service, her mother's name is Michelle. She's in your little hidden group there because she posted afterwards that it was her daughter that told her everything that was going on, and then... Uh, that girl Bree gave her a computer type out of everything that was going on with Fatima's money, which is totally illegal. So why did you feel like you were the one that had to call Big Y and take care of that? Who put you in charge of anything? Chrissy. Chrissy. Chrissy after two. Who, I don't give like Stop blaming Chrissy, okay? Take some fucking uh, responsibility. You did this. It was not your job to do this, but you did it anyway. She's not blaming Chrissy. Of she course she's, she just, to do it. oh, so she had no choice, because Chrissy asked her to, right? So it's not her fault, it's Chrissy's fault, because Chrissy asked her to do it, right? That's what you're saying? Chrissy asked her to do it, apparently Chrissy was scared to do it. Okay, so, but then why didn't you just say no? Why didn't you say no? I'm sorry, I mean, I'm just, I know what's going on, because I've been watching and listening, and I talked to my sister. You know, but Chrissy bowed out faithfully and threw Linda right under the bus. That's a given. Oh, my God. Oh, so you're, on, you're blaming man. someone else for this, basically. No, you're, I, 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 no come uh, on. I'm no reason to bullshit you people. I don't even know you're, you. You're blaming yes, you someone do, else. To defend your fucking sister. Yeah. You're blaming someone else. I don't give a shit if it's my fucking sister. It's the truth. Like, it says it. Linda, it says it right yeah. in the screenshot. Yeah. She said, I called. So, da, da, da. she did it. There's no debating that. She can debate it. You can stick up for her because she's holding the Adderall prescription. Whatever the reason is. But the facts are, she said it and did it. Phone call. It got us in trouble. Well, that's what they're basically saying now. You're blaming Chrissy. Calling the police and implicating us in some bullshit. When they're pulling up this shit that says that you call the police. Don't tell anybody. I'm reading the blog. I'm watching. Oh, yeah, look at that's that. what I'm saying. Linda, talk to him. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he, Linda's actually the seen the light, I believe. Go no, ahead, Linda. Linda. Tell him. But they think that I called the police to go to Hadassah's house. I never called the police to go to Hadassah's house. Yes, you I did. did. I called ASAP, no, this, not the police. No, okay, how about this? How about this? Because I like your sister. Your sister seems smart. So let me oh, read this to you. She seems like, yeah. So this I is... I can read myself. I'm reading it. Right. So you see the first you know, one, right? <laughs> Tell me this one. When it says, when she says, somebody in the group says, scanner alert, just heard a call to the so-called shelter. A woman and her children are being held against their will. 
And and Linda right. responds. Linda received a phone call. Correct. No, no. You're right. Then your sister responds to that message, saying that the police are going to the shelter not because of fleas, but because a child is being held there against their will. Okay. Her response to that is results all the way from Maine people, which obviously, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, which obviously implies. That she is responsible implies, for that. Listen, obviously implies. Yes, very much strongly it's implies. Not allowed. Yeah. Listen, not allowed. Oh, so twist. I'm not twisting anything. It's fucking right there in front of me. You're fucking admitting, and that's what I can't stand about this shit, Linda. Is you treating me like I'm a fucking moron? Do I look like a fucking moron to you? No, you don't look like a fucking moron. None of us look like a fucking moron. Oh, I, it is right there. Uh, you kind of do. Put there, Linda. It is right there. I wish you. I know. You could see it. I wish you could see it, because what he's showing is making you... I, I've seen it. He already had it on the page. No, I understand that. I've been watching this fucking guy and listening to the dude in the back since they started. Now, shit coming up, I can, I can see, you know, he's just asking you questions. Just, you know, he's trying to answer it the best. You can't see what I can see. I, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. He just wants to know. I thought a wellness check was done. That's what I thought. But by me reading it and knowing what Chrissy had said, I assumed it was a wellness check. Right. You know, I know she but, gave you the message. But you assume that she made the call. You assume that she made the call based on what she wrote. Yeah, but days ago. I mean, right. how about this? Right, days uh, ago, there was a wellness check, correct? Right? Uh, not to my knowledge. This uh, was Wednesday. It was. This was yesterday. Was one on Wednesday. No, this was yesterday. Oh, this this was yesterday. This is when this this message took place yesterday. I screenshotted this because I was in the group too, and it said a woman and her children are being held there against their will. And you and Linda responded by saying results. And up, Linda responded by saying results. In other words. Okay. I called them and said that a child is being held there against their will. That's obviously what is meant from that. Obviously. There's no other way to interpret that. <laughs> and you admitted it to me. I got you to admit it to I me. I never admitted it to you, you at all. You want me to bring up the conversation? I got what about it when you said I was scared? I didn't want to admit to it because I was scared. Yeah, I'm that? sorry. What yeah. are you sorry for? I can read what he's pulling up. Fucking hurt me. I mean, it's, it's fucked up. It, it makes it sound like. Let me see here. I'm sounds like. No, see, see that's where you're getting confused. No, it's, it's, it's it good. sounds like the truth. Yeah. Because this is what she said. Now, how about this one, Linda? How do you explain this one to me? When, when, because I, yeah, got, I got you to come forward and admit it to me. And this is what you said. I was scared to tell you. I was scared to tell you. You know, I said. You said yes, I did. I go, did you call? You said yes. Here, here it is. Put that up I there go. so at least Linda can see it. Did you yeah. call? Sorry for not telling you up front. Okay, here it is. Let me read it to you. Me, I said. Thank God, Linda. I said yes. You did call? Question mark. And you said yes. And then I said okay, thank you. And you responded by saying sorry for not telling you up front. And I said, I think you should call them back and make it clear to them that it wasn't true. And you said, I am. And then you didn't call, okay? And then you said, I'm calling them now and letting them know. But you didn't call them and let them know, did you, Linda? Call who? What? The police. What was I supposed We were talking. I never called the police to begin with. You never said. Won. You said you were going to? It was Wednesday I did, but I never called the There's police. There's no Wednesday. This was, you admitted to it. Wednesday, she did, a, she did a wellness check on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. and then yesterday, yeah, on wellness. So wait, 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 wait. Everyone just stop. Okay, bro. So she admits that she called in a wellness check on Wednesday. That's where you guys sit right now, Linda? On a three-way call with Chrissy. On a three-way call with Chrissy. To Officer Craig Stanley, okay. and he will confirm that. Yes. Chrissy is? Correct. What the fuck is this, Chrissy? Don't, don't worry about it. That's a distraction, Brett. So, 
Um, that's nothing, right? That's, yeah. that's smoke and mirrors. It's our, I don't want mine. to talk about Wednesday. We're not here to talk about Wednesday. We're here to talk Wait, about... That's what I have no idea what you're talking about. No, oh, about yesterday. You would call the police yesterday, and I already said no. Oh, but I, you admitted to me. ASPCA, whatever the hell they're called. So you called the ASPCA called yesterday. yesterday? Yes, about the police. Chrissy said that David, her daughter's son, called her, and the place is infested with police to call this number. And I wrote it down on the red uh, tobacco, the toolbox, which he has posted as well. The phone number's right there. I wrote it down as Chrissy gave it to me. And I told them about the police infestation at 16 and 18 Cedar Street. I told you to call the police back, and you said, I'm calling them now and letting them know. That's what you said. You're call I told you to call the police, and you said, I'm calling them now and letting them know. That's what you said. Oh, well, I probably said that because I couldn't stand you harassing me. Oh, right, right, right. So you lied. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. So see what you do. This is what you so do. So listen. So you called. So you called AARP about some old people with fleas, no. and now you only said something because you were tired of the harassment. <laughs> yeah. See how we got you to lie? And in, 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 dude, yeah. I mean, you're fucking drowning, kid. And this is what else you said. What you said. With all your flab and extra skin, you think you'd float like a fucking boat. Know what I mean? <laughs> you go on to say, he's only in this for himself, me. He does not have to call the police and tell them shit. He is a rat bastard. Why'd you say that about me? <laughs> oh my God, it's like the Wicked Witch. How am I a rat bastard? Kill a Vanderall right now. Read it again, read it again. What's it say? It's, it says, I'm going to get I'm going to get all of those groups because this is a fuck this is fucking bullshit. Oh it's he, that Then he said he's only it. he's only in it for himself. For he does not have to yeah. call the police and tell them shit. He is a rat bastard. That's rat what you said. No, that's, that, that was uh that was uh to Christy. That was me and Christy talking. Yeah, yeah but no, but you're talking uh -oh. about me. Stop blaming her for everything. Oh, you kept threatening me. So why are you calling oh, me a rat I bastard? I sent a messenger and you threatened me. You kept asking me if I called the police. I kept telling him no. You did not you tell me no. Me you said me. the exact opposite of no. You said yes. You said the exact... No, I didn't. I said yes to... Uh, you were asking about the... What do you call it? Those... Whatever that is. ASTCA. Okay. So how am I harassed? Like, what are you talking about? Why am I a rat bastard? Why are you calling me a rat bastard? Because the way you, probably the way you are. That's it? That's your best answer? Because of the way I am? Why am I a yeah, rap bastard? Yeah, the way you are, how dirty you are, how, how you make up oh. shit. What do I you make up? You lie about people. You try to belittle people. Yeah. You know, how you live a horrible life. Really, it's kind of funny because you didn't have a problem with me when I was exposing Hadassah. You had no problem with the blog then. Well, now I'm questioning... When, uh, when you were sucking his dick like the venom was in it, you had no issue. Writing all kinds of stuff. I don't believe that everything about Adasa is true. Oh, I see. I think that you are lying. Uh, I think the, what you did to her, you're trying to do to me now. This is because you have no ending to the Adasa story because you couldn't do anything about it. So now you want to go on and try to bring me into it. I even have screenshots of it. Okay, uh, so... Oh, good. So, it's, so you, uh, we know oh, you have screenshots. that's right, Brad. That's going to make me cry tonight. Okay, so obviously... Uh, well, when did I say that? Someone else asked if I was going to make oh, you I cry. That. I said maybe. I have that and, no, too. not for nothing. Wait, hold on there, fucking no teeth. I could make you cry if you had a sense of honor or fucking decency. But you don't. You get evicted from places for not paying your fucking rent. Yeah. You're a toothless, flabby fucking cunt. And you get other people in trouble to feel like you matter. Here's a real quick news flash, shitlet. You do not fucking matter to anyone. Seriously. Oh, you never heard breath before? Yep. You, you have been... How many times have you been evicted in your life? How many times? Every day. Oh, I think you've been. I I know the answer to that. 
I've looked it up. It's quite a few. It's quite a few. Yeah, but what does that have to do with what's going on? It kind of speaks to her character, no? The fact that she's lying about that? She's dishonest? Well, I know Christy had something to do with this, so don't, you know... Right oh, along, she's telling you what she did, which is the truth. She did do a wellness check. Yes, she did. On that person, because Chrissy oh. asked her to. And then Chrissy gave her two other stories. The lady was missing three weeks. Three weeks went into six months. Six months went into a year. Okay. They found the lady in a nursing home. So, yeah. Hey, I'm not going to lie to nobody. Because I could give a rat's ass. Since it was six. Since it was six. This shit in my book. But there's no need to tear somebody down and pull oh, them out. It's very need. It's very oh, much that's, need. That's, 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 you know why? Do you understand why there's a need for this? I heard you call my sister a cunt. Yes. Oh, she's. Oh, I called her a cunt. No I doubt about mean, come it. Come on, guys. Oh, no. You really got to go there? Your sister is a cunt. I and mean, I'm sorry. I don't use that word very lightly. But what well, she that's did. That's not nice. She, that's not nice. She sir. called the police. <laughs> I, I am not ashamed. I'm, I'm proud to call her that. Now, let me tell you. She, she the, the effect that she has when she calls the police falsely and tells them that a woman is being held there against her will, which she did and she admitted to, uh, that effect that affects me because now I'm the one that's going to get blamed for that. You understand that, right? I'm the one that's yes, going to... I get what you're saying, absolutely. So that's fucked up. But that doesn't mean you're going to call her a cunt that you put out, you know, sexual assault. That was a serious Okay, crime. so here's... Okay, did you... Did you okay, but were you, did you follow the, the sequence of events, though? I did not want... When I first put it out, I did a blog before this, and I did not put her name out there. I gave her a chance. I was having a private conversation with her in which I got her to apologize, I got her to admit it, and she told me that she was going to call the police and straighten it all out. She lied to me. She didn't do any of that. What she was doing was calling me a rat bastard and, and all types of other things, right? And so that's why I called her a cunt, and that's why I blogged about her. Because that's a cunty thing to do, no? <laughs> no I, think it was superficial, I love you, man. How's that superficial? I have no homo. How's that superficial? I mean, seriously, <laughs> call somebody a cunt. Yes, mean, very much so. Okay, that so, you know, your feelings got hurt. No, not my feelings. Wait, listen. She, she wait, fucked wait, my... I'll stop. Go ahead. No, no listen. I'll, I'll, I'm going to apologize for calling her that. But in my defense, Chrissy told me to. Yes, there you go. Yes, Chrissy told him to call you a cunt. So everything's Chrissy's Chrissy fault, right? That little Chrissy isn't as sweet as you people think she is. Oh, yeah, it's all her fault. Yeah, yeah, she's the devil. Yeah. She told me to call you all the same. I'm not saying it's all her fault, but Chrissy played a role in it. No, she didn't. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my. How many Newports are you smoking right now? Just so you know. How many fucking Newports are you smoking right now, girl? Oh, okay. You, let me get Do you smoke shitty weed? I bet you smoke shitty weed. You seem like the type. Listen, tell that, tell that guy blunt back up so he doesn't choke you so we can hear you talking. All right, yeah, lady? Exactly. So it's don't yeah. die on me now. Don't my die on me. My name is Lori. My name is not Lady. My name is not Cunt. I like my you, Lori. I like you, Lori. You seem very reasonable. Now, who's the older sibling in this relationship? I, I am Linda. You're the older one. Yeah. Oh, years. good lord! Th this was your role model growing up. I'm so sorry about that, Lori. Well, and look at guys. I mean, come on. I'm not going to let you sit here and bash my sister in front of me. I've been hearing this since. Yeah. Started, you know, yep. so good. Sorry, but you don't have you to say it, bro. Opinion. You know, all I have to have an opinion, but, you know, it is what it is. She's a liar. She did play a role in it. She didn't and, just play a role in okay, it. Okay, Linda's not all to blame for this. Oh, yes, she is. You can get Chrissy. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She's so you can put Chrissy. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Did Chrissy... You have your opinion. No, no, I have facts. Did. I have facts. Did Chrissy... But that doesn't give you the right to... Oh, it does. Okay. Wait. All right, let's go wait. to that. Because I'm, I'm sick of you guys listen reflecting Listen to your this. choice of words. Wait, listen to your choice of words. Expose her. That's what happens. She, she, 
She lied to me, she right? Lied to yes. me. Okay, so okay, let's go. Okay. Are you kidding me? All right, time out. Let's go to that because I'm sick of you guys deflecting to that cuz let's let's just go to that real quick, okay? So we the It's just a really bad time and I don't appreciate it being put on YouTube. Okay, well, too bad. It's not on YouTube. She she the one that put it on Facebook. She put it on Facebook. That's out there. Right? You you understand that? I didn't put that on the internet. She did. She recorded a police officer. This is five years ago. Her ass got evicted. All right, kicked yeah, out of the house. I never got evicted. I never got evicted. You got kicked out. You got kicked out, no? Because I reported the sexual assault. You're right. Okay, so, <laughs> so you were kicked out of an apartment because you were sexually assaulted and then you reported it to the police and, and you were kicked out for that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That never happened. It's not the truth. That's a lie. You're a, you, you are a pathological. Of course, it's a lie. Of co you, all you've done is lie to me. You to think she's full of shit? She might not be full of shit because what if Chrissy told that dude to sexually assault her? That's then it ain't that's his it. fault, right? Did Chrissy tell the guy to sexually assault you? Is that what this comes down to? No, yes, that had nothing to do with that. Oh, so, so Chrissy's got, okay. No, but she had a hand in it, or a digit, a digit in it. <laughs> You're not the paper asshole? What's a paper asshole? Linda played no role in it. it. I won't go on it. I won't go on it. Okay. But just to you be know, clear. I have better things to do. She's the one. Chrissy's not the one that called the police and, and, and falsely told them that someone was being held at the Gan Rivka Center. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? I want to see proof that she didn't do it. Uh, you admitted to it. That's the proof. You admitted to it. I never. I never okay. We're not revisiting that. Your sister. Your sister agrees. So you, now you're on Hadassah's team. I see. Okay. So now you think... Yeah, that's right. Oh, good. Okay. So you, that's good company you're in. So, that's right. So here's we the... Hadassah had a long, long talk. Really? Okay. What'd you guys talk she about? She called me tonight. She called me tonight. You really? Hey, Hadassah called you? I gave her the recording. The illegal recording that was sent to me and you. Wait. That Chrissy did. What? Okay. Well, so you Chrissy you had a long talk tonight. Go ahead, Brett. No, have her play it then. If you have proof that that happened, play it. Brett, have proof of I or, a call. or is it just you another email. You got an email, I'll send it to Okay, you. what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play this video of you taping the police in what appears to be some sort of hospital. Well, we have 200 plus viewers, so here's your moment. Hope you enjoy it. I told him, I said, you're on your mind. And the guy's face, he almost had a heart attack. He could not believe it. Well, how unhumane are you people to throw me out of the street? I pay more rent than Dante. The rent is five ninety there. I pay $300 a month rent, okay? Okay, can we you stop with me off the street with nothing, not a coat, okay. not anything I pay the majority of the rent there, right? It's five ninety, uh, okay. and I pay uh, three hundred. According to the officer's report, according to the officer's report. Okay, you want to have coaching right there. Of course. Yeah, but, so now, it's not but really, it's not really. Yeah. It's 590. Yeah. What, what kind of hole does 590 what fucking get you? Is, uh, rent was never paid. Okay, so, so bottom line is. You didn't get the whole video. You don't know the whole story. So what's the whole story? Okay, so what's your point? You were being evicted, but he wasn't? No, he wasn't. No, I didn't know. I paid it. I paid everything. Okay, so basically, let me just explain. The only reason yeah, I put right. that video in there is because I wanted people to hear your voice. Because I feel like your voice kind of explains who you are. You sound like you have, you're like, you're like, you sound like a, like a 50 year old woman trapped in an 85 year old's body who's just been beat up by life. You know, your face looks like a, a losing scratch ticket. Uh, and I just, I feel like the voice oh, added effect to it. No, that's, that's the way I felt, Brett. I don't know about you. Oh, that's, that's good. good. 
So Did listen, wait, no, no, I'm yes. going to take offense to that. Okay, wait, well, I'm on your side for a second, Chicklet. Pipe down. Do another Adderall hit and let me talk. Now, he called, did that, that's a little much, dude, because from the posts i seen people sharing, there was that time that she was digging uh, holes into snowbanks when she was homeless, and her dog died in her arms from freezing to death, and she couldn't sleep, and all this other crazy Milo fucking bullshit. This lady has had, hey, wait, um, hey, listen, special ed, pipe down, fuck, I'm talking. She went through so much during her life, and her tiny little drug-ridden brain has snapped. So this might not be her fault. I need to talk to Chrissy, because this all might be Chrissy's fault. Brett, Brett. his name's Brett. They're asking... They, don't, they must be big fans if they don't know who Brett is. What are you saying? What? Yes, your dog died in your arms. That is all true. Okay. In a snowbank that she dug an igloo in. Yeah, I know. How about terrible, this? Can I, ask terrible you, story. can I ask you I a question? I hated it in that Disney movie, and I hate oh, it now. You Damn you, Chrissy. Okay. Uh, Linda, Linda, do you have any food stamps I can buy off of you? Stop that. No, she already traded them yes off of no? Adderall. Yes or no? No. I'll pay, I'll pay 90%. You don't receive food stamps? What do you do for a living? I'm just curious. I'm just talking here. I'm asking oh, what you do for I'm a living. Donations from what? Oh, what so you, you're, you a bum. you're a bum. So you're a doctor. You're, you're a person. It should be living with Hadassah. Yeah, you sound a lot like Hadassah. Like, your lifestyle doesn't really... Is that why you enjoyed the blogs on Hadassah so much? Because it felt like you were crapping on yourself? Hadassah. Yeah. I, I was never she flicks her bean and cries at night. Yeah, but you... She flicks her oh God, angrily and cries. Um, so, you... I feel like you enjoyed the blogs about Hadassah because... For the first time in your life, you got to feel better than someone else, right? <laughs> right? You got that wrong. So why why did you? Yeah, you right. But it's true. Right. It's true. It's true. That's the way it is. Still because true. Yeah. I mean, that's the fact Doesn't of the matter. To. Is your sister? You sound all right, but your sister is ratchet I'm as fuck. Very private, really, to tell you the She's truth. She's not very private private. At all. What are you talking about, private? She doesn't shut Her up on social media. Private, private. She, what do you mean involved? She inserted herself into this. She brought this upon herself. The size you get that, of a right? Urinal. Nah, nobody, listen, nobody brings upon themselves. All uh, oh, right. Listen, it's Chrissy's fault. Sister, that is wrong. No, what's, you what's wrong about it? <laughs> what's wrong about it? Everything you know? we posted was true. Everything. Yeah. Uh, your child? What, what about her child? We didn't talk about her child. She has a child? I said if the script was flipped, I don't think you would appreciate somebody posting it about you. If I, the script was flipped. Ah, uh, fuck my kids. You can post what you want. I'm if, if I ever lied, if I ever falsely... Being sexually assaulted. That is not Fuck funny. my kids. I don't give a shit. Post whatever you want about them. If it's true. What yeah. we don't do is post shit that's not true. This is all true. Therein agree. lies the fucking different shithead. Now listen, I think you're a decent fucking broad and all, but ba -ba 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 -ba, you're related to this fucking walking Amber Alert. And she's full of shit. She never crawled into a snowbank and died with a dog. She never did a lot of things, and Chrissy's to blame for everything. Right. It's all Think Chrissy's about fault. your life and Chrissy get your life. Chrissy's to blame for everything. And let me tell you something. Chrissy did play a role oh. in the ending of the bullshit. Oh, my yes. God. Why? Let me ask. Can I ask you, you know something? Can I ask you something? Why did, she, why did she call Kate a junkie? Why, why were you hating on Kate? Who? Bristol. Kate. A junkie? You, you called I, Kate. You Chrissy told oh. me. That Kate was nothing but a junkie, and she's got a bad background, but just put up with her. I told her I couldn't stand Kate. 
Why why couldn't you stand Kate? You know what, Linda? I just had to stand up. I fucking told you when this shit blew up like this, I told you, you need to put the fuck out what you got. And this bullshit once and for all. Who got that? I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the comments. Hey, look, shit rolls downhill. And guess what? The shit stopped at your feet. So to come to these guys that this little bitch had something to do with it, I strongly suggest with the proof you got, I'll give it to them. Yeah, let me see. This bitch had no problem oh, yeah. throwing so you under the bus. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> So, uh, oh, this is the best day ever. Because you know what? Nobody's sparing yours. Yeah. Nobody's pissing me off. Yeah, me too. I don't like being called a liar. You don't like being called a liar. And this little girl is lying to the lady. Teeth. I haven't even warmed up. Mama, take the fucking focus off Chrissy. She ain't no real. Okay, okay, so let's, let's, let's we're not talking about Chrissy. I asked you a question about Bristol. Yeah, they make sure the shit starts at your feet. Okay? This little bitch. Remember what she said? I got you before you got me. Who the fuck yeah. said that to somebody? Okay, can we, I asked you about Bristol. I asked you about Bristol. Why do you think Kate, a.k.a. Bristol, was a junkie? You talked shit about her. Why would you talk shit about her? Huh? Kate! Crystal. He said she was a junkie, he said. Bristol. Oh, my fucking God. Kate, you said Kate. You gotta use Kate. She's too retarded to know two names, man. Kate, just oh stick with God. Kate. Chrissy told me. I told her, I said, I can't stand that Kate. I just oh, Chrissy again. Why could, Chrissy talks. Why couldn't you stand Kate? What's your can problem? Can we call Chrissy? Stand up. That's all there is. Can we call her? Can we call her? Chrissy told call me that you gotta get her on. she was a bad drug addict. You took her off the street, and now she's married and doing good and blah, blah, blah. Wait. Blah. Okay. Wait. Go That's ahead. actually true. Uh... Kate was a heroin addict on the corner, and Unc took her in and said, hey, you know what you might be good at? Blogs. Yeah. And now she got married to another turtle rider, and they're living happy. I'm, ad I'm adding Bristol to this, because she needs, I, I want to hear what she, because you call her a crackhead yeah. and a junkie. I didn't call her that. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, I'm not a liar. I'm a truth teller. I speak my truth. No, you're not. You're a liar. I have fucking, it's all in the blog. Do you not realize how screenshots work? I have evidence of you doing that. There's no evidence uh, of that, because that was never said. Oh, my God. Okay. So, uh, Bristol, are you with us? I am now. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay. So, you out uh, here's Hi, Kate. Sweetie. Here's Kate. <laughs> I want you to tell Kate what you think of her, Linda. What do you think of Kate? I already told you. No, tell her. I she don't like the way. I don't like the way she comments. I don't like her attitude. She doesn't like your attitude. Okay. But I didn't like the crime that you committed, Linda. I never committed a crime. No, when you file a false police report, that's a crime. I didn't file a false police report. Educated you called the MSPCA pretending to be someone that you're not, making up a crime that did not exist. That's filing a false police report because no, you knew that they would call the police. No, I did not do that at all. No, I did not do that at all. Show me the proof. Please, back it up. You have all really the proof you want. You, you, you couldn't keep your cum guzzler shut. Back you had to tell up, everybody. So we have plenty of proof, Linda. <laughs> oh God! Everything comes back to Chrissy with you because that's how weak you are. Oh, good God! You're, do you know what a pathological liar is, Linda? That's what you are. Oh my God! Oh Jesus! Oh, that's what yeah. Chrissy told me. How is she yeah. lying? What? Fuck me! Why do you Why did you call her a crackhead? Though you called her a junkie. Why'd you call her a junkie? Oh. And then you took her off the streets oh, and all that, right? Chrissy. Can you say anything without blaming Chrissy first? Well, that's what, that's what you asked me a question. I answered it. Okay. I already went through this. Okay, but you, why did you call her a junkie? Because Chris, cause Chrissy told you she's a junkie? Is that why? Exactly. Oh, right, of course. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, Linda, I have screenshots of Chrissy telling you, no, Kate is not, not a junkie. Aiden is not my friend. He's just blogging, and I'm helping them with a the blog.
th this is what I mean. Do you know what a pathological liar is? It's someone who cannot tell the truth out of their mouth. That appears to be you. Ooh. Oh. Why? Why'd you say she's a junkie? That's And more importantly, why did you deny calling her a junkie for ten minutes, and now you're admitting it? See, this is the this is the pattern with you. You lie, you deny the lie, and then you cop to the lie. That's what you've done this whole fucking show. I'm calling Chrissy. We don't need to bother Chrissy with this. Chrissy is absolutely innocent. Um, the only person that is not innocent here is Linda. And Linda, I hope you understand how they ping cell phones because they have your location. It's not like you're not going to get caught for these. This is not your first false police report in this incident. We never ask for your help. You're not helpful. Just yeah. so we're clear, you're yeah. not fucking helpful. Yeah, you know you're not. You know we didn't ask for your help, right? We didn't want you to become involved because you're obviously too Listen, stupid. I tried Lies. That's not how it works. Lies. Lies. Nobody. That has nothing to do with us, though. We don't want your help. You're not helpful. You're the opposite of help. Take the polar opposite of what's helpful, and that's what you are. You're destructive. Nobody asked for this. You're not helpful at all. You have no skills. You have no contribution to add to this. I said I don't want to be in this room. You're literally the Vaughn of no estate instead of real estate. Because you ain't got a home. She's Vaughn, no estate. <laughs> okay, can I ask you something? Now, tell me about your great. She moved. I live in Florida. Yeah, I'm not know, asking you. I'm asking her. Why did she? Why? Why does she live in Maine now? Why did she move there? Hey. Oh, um, we bought a house out here. Me and my boyfriend. Oh, you have a boyfriend. Oh, I know why you moved. We don't have to talk about that. I want to talk about what about the house they had to destroy because you left it in such deplorable condition. Yeah, could, How about that one? Could you destroy a house? Because we... they literally had to demolish it. That's not the first house you left in absolute filth either, is it, Linda? Yeah, you know we have more. We know we found more shit on you, right, Linda? We found out about the house that I demolished. So much shit on. Oh, because we, we have. I'm, I'm, oh, you're gonna see. We you're have gonna see. Shit, like the knee deep little fuck shit you out. Things are gonna get interesting now. See, it's yeah. gonna be get so worse now, and it's yeah. all because of you, man. You realize like, you will literally have to put the blame it, in a day or two. When this gets so much worse, yeah, it's your fault. All you have to do is it's tell the only, truth. That's it. Uh, not Chrissy, you. I want to give Chrissy the camera wide now. Sup? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to your sister. Oh fuck! Listen to your sister. <laughs> can I, can Lori? Well, it's not really. Wait, Linda, can you explain to us why you left your house in such disgusting dis um, condition that the town had to demolish it? Why did you do that? Hold on, I think she hung up on me. Oh no, she did because Bristol just fucking pulled her cat. Oh, she hung up. Guaranteed, she did. She what? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin that. No. No, you didn't ruin anything. You pulled a cat, and it was too much for show. And then you show up. And you just added new shit to it, and she panicked. Yeah. Right now, she's screaming at her sister. Oh, uh, yeah. I will fucking guarantee you, she's screaming at her right now. Yeah, you know the thing about this chick is, and I love it. It's like when the sister comes on, you can tell the sister has only heard her version, like her sister's version of it. Like she doesn't until she was reading what you were putting on the screen. <laughs> Well, she's like, no, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, like, there's fucking <laughs> proof right there. You did this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm fucking reading you admit that you called the cops. She And she kept saying, well, you, bet, I, you better fucking post that shit. You better post the proof. Because she's probably telling her sister, oh, I got tons of fucking proof. It was all Chrissy put me up to this, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, you, you better fucking post it. You know, you know she hasn't shown her sister any proof. Because there is no proof. She's just literally blaming some other fucking chick who's completely innocent of everything to do with this, right? No, has literally nothing to do with this. Besides... Who was Chrissy? From, who was Chrissy? That, Chrissy's like a, a turtle rider who was um, a Milford resident who, uh, like a uh, lot of people in Milford... Chrissy is Kaiser Soze. According to these idiots, she's Kaiser Soze. 
He's at fault for everything. everything. She pulled all the strings. Everything. I got yeah. you before you got me. It's it's Chrissy Soze, right. basically, right? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, she is. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, that was put it this way, Bristol. We we found some more shit on her, right? What else have we found on her? Oh, come on. I've, you know, should I just lay it all? Like, let's just be clear. If you piss you know, me I'm off, still... I'll pull up your whole fucking life. I know. I'll pull up your whole fucking. Then she pissed me off right you. off the bat. Yeah. I'll, I will literally get everything. She's a filthy pig. She moved around. There's some stuff that I can't even say because it was told off the record, but I'm aware, and it's not flattering to her um, yeah. <laughs> without um, jeopardizing my source on that one. But, I mean, she literally had a house. It sounds like she was renting to own it in Maine. Uh, what was it? For Chase Road. And she had it foreclosed on by the city because she didn't pay the taxes. And the city went in, and the dog shit and garbage was literally knee-deep. It's the worst that they've ever seen. That's what I was told. And they had to fucking demolish the place. And that's not the only house that she's left in that condition. And this bitch has been evicted over, like, 30 times. Yeah. People, it, 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 30 times. And, and she had one. I mean, that's amazing. It had to be fucking demolished. The only other time I've even heard of that happening is the Blackstone House of Horrors. That's the only other time I've heard of a house having to be demolished after somebody left there because it was so putrid. This is what you know this how much was. you know how much damage and she and left. Cost there has to be to have a house demolished. Uh, she left her son and her deal. dogs in that house. Mm -hmm. So she lived in an apartment elsewhere while and left her dogs and her son. Uh, so essentially. She's got a hard on, and she wants to go after Heidi Robeson when she's ten times as bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, her house was ten times as filthy as that right. fucking <laughs> abortion of a shelter. She's ten times as bad for she's animals. Probably like, come jealous. On. She's probably come on now. jealous of Hadassah. Yeah, kind of, uh, I mean, her and Hadassah are both ratchet, but Hadassah has figured out a way to survive off of her ratchetry in which she can scam people. Like, and this one's too stupid to do that. Hadassah's much craftier than her, but ultimately they're equal. And I don't know if you were listening earlier, Bristol, but she literally said that they're friends now. They're now they're conspiring to get us. <laughs> I hope she comes now to that's court. Your right. body. I hope she comes to court. I hope she oh, comes to court. Wait. Um, hey Bristol. Yeah. Wait, Kate. Did you see that post that someone shared with her sucking that, what's that guy's name? Donald Chinese? Donnie Chinese? Tony Chinese. What the fuck was it? Tony Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, she had, a post, she had a post saying, I'm so sorry that she sucked you into this and blah, blah, blah. Did you see that? I can't be the only one that saw, I saw that. that. No, she I did. did. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, but now, Adasa, we lied about her and we're, we're so terrible oh, yeah, yeah, i yeah. just talked to her today and i'm team that's ah. <laughs> yeah unbelievable unbelievable so of course after yeah. she literally called the police on this woman and like this woman oh. is not sin of anything hadassah yeah. she's clearly you know she's a shitbag but like she made up a crime that did not exist and like wasted town resources and officers time as well as like legitimately harassed hadassah over this she did not need the police to show up at her house when they did like that's bullshit she that's gave, absolute bullshit she gave hadassah somewhat of a moral high ground that hadassah did not have prior to this like Hadassah right, was right. The, was the hundred percent villain before this. She was not a victim in any way, shape, or form until someone filed a false police report against her, and now she will fall back on that a million times. Right? She'll just keep referring to that because for Listen, once, she, I will guarantee that gets brought up on the twenty ninth. Oh, without a doubt. Guarantee. Yep, exactly. Because like, that would be an example of harassment. Like, Aiden ordered these people to call. Well, she'll probably just say, I did it, right? Because it doesn't have to be true. She'll just fucking say it. It didn't need to happen at all. Because nobody at the Gan Rivka Center is being held there against their will that we know of. Okay? Uh, but, you know, it just, right. you know. Oh, good God. Good God. So, anyway, why don't we do a little, why don't we do a little Ask Turtle Boy Anything in the questions, I wanted to get to more stories tonight, but that phone call was just too good, right? I just want to say, and maybe you guys can ask questions about this, Brett and I disagree. Patrick Chung, did you read that story, Bristol? Patrick Chung uh, with the cocaine, right? Yeah. Do you think he should be fucking indicted? Absolutely not. Thank you. Why? Because that's not why they were going into the house, and he wasn't, you know, 
uh, distributing it. And frankly, I mean, I don't oh. necessarily think that you should be doing cocaine, but no. if you want to do it in the, you know, business of your home, it's not my business. Exactly. It's, right. And it's not heroin. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it is what it is. If you fucking <laughs> die from it, that's on you. Okay. But it ain't man. fucking, he's not selling it, etc. And somebody say Andrew Luck just retired. You have to be fuck. I hope that's a joke. There's no way Andrew Luck just retired. Anyway, go ahead, Brad. What do you, why, why do you think Patrick Chung deserved that? I, I maybe don't think that he should be indicted. Like he wasn't even home when they found it to where that's fucked up. So it could be someone else. Da, da, da. But if it, if the, if the press release was, Buffalo Bill so and so indicted for cocaine. I don't think you'd have the same stance. You know what I mean? I just come on, be honest. If it was a Bill or a Jet or a Dolphin, you wouldn't be like, "This is bullshit." You'd be like, "Eh, fuck them." Right? But it wouldn't happen to a Bill or a Jet or a Dolphin. It's happening because he's a patriot. But but if it did, theoretically, if it did, would would you have the same stance? Yes, because I'm consistent. You would. Yes. All right, no, no, no. Fair enough, then. Fair like when, enough. When other players, I think cocaine got found in your house. If by y'all's logic, he wasn't home. That's not why they're there. But hey, look at this AK forty-seven on the couch. Well, let's run the numbers. Well, it's got a murder on it. So, but he wasn't home. So let's not charge him. Yeah. No, a, an illegal thing was discovered in your home. You're responsible for it. Now, do I think it's right? Absolutely not. And I'm kind of with Bristol. If you're gonna to do drugs in your house and you haven't failed any tests, well, go fuck your mother then. You can do what the fuck yeah. you want. You're a millionaire. Do this shit. Yeah. I, I cannot believe this. Andrew Luck is retiring. This is fucking amazing. Oh my God. Why? I well, don't know. Because he's a pussy? I don't know. Because he gets injured all the time? I am so he's fucking... Okay, he's like... You know Andrew he's Luck? He's like is, above... He's got to be a top top 10, top 15 quarterback, oh, right? Not 10 oh, no. easily. Am I thinking? Top, maybe yeah. top five. Right? Andrew Luck was supposed to be the next big mm. thing. He took over for Peyton Manning. People, I remember when he first came in, people were like, would you trade Brady for Luck right now? Absolutely, blah, blah, blah. Josh McDaniels turned down that job in Indy, and they got so mad at him. Well, who's fucking laughing now? <laughs> who, who's laughing now, bitches? The Colts were fucking supposed to be like 12-4 and four this year. The Colts are back. They're the favorite to win that. They ain't going to win shit now. Jacoby Brissett's the fucking starter for the Colts. This is fucking awesome. There's no better, There's no worse franchise in sports than the Indianapolis Colts. There's no bigger bunch of pathetic Texas. losers than the Indianapolis... Tex Go ahead, Brett. You agree? Texans. I think Texans are worse. Brett, the, the Texans Tex are trying to deal clowny right now. I think they're in worse shape than... The Colts. No, I'm talking about. I, I think this, there has to be more than this for him to walk away from this franchise. He has to be personally fucking. Like you know what I he mean. Want to play he football. has to be. This he, has to be a personal thing. He's a Stanford nerd. Okay, Andrew Luck's a Stanford nerd, and he's just the cunt. Yeah, well, he just he gets hurt a lot. He's like probably I don't want to become a vegetable like a lot of these other guys. I'm fucking 29. Uh, 30, all right. You know, he probably just like I don't want to fucking right. do this anymore, right? And that is fucking hilarious because let's not forget Brett. The Flategate, the biggest fucking non-story of all time, came from the losers in Indianapolis who couldn't get over the fact that we stuck our dick up their ass, okay, and they cried fucking uncle in the AFC Championship game. They couldn't get over that. So you know what they did? They blamed deflated fucking balls for the fact that LeGarrette Blunt rushed for 5,000 freaking yards on them. And guess what, bitches? This is karma. They're the only loser franchise in any sport that hangs up AFC Championship participation banners. Not that they won the AFC Championship. They just fucking got there. Good fucking riddance. Indianapolis, nobody, no fan base on earth deserves it more than the fucking Indiana, Indianapolis Colts loser fucking fan base. You got no Andrew Luck. You fucking <laughs> suck. You fucking suck and you deserve it so badly. And the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win that division this year. That's my prediction right now. So anyway, um, you follow, you know what we're talking about at all, Bristol? Or are you like South Shore? You don't know I fucking nothing. Oh, I don't know shit. I'm very candid about that. Wait, wait, real quick. Dan Brown had said the Browns are going to wreck shit, and now it says message retracted. Dan Brown, don't be a pussy. Stand by your little 
toilet squad, well, the, you little The Browns bitch. are going to be awesome. I think the Browns are going to be great. Well, dude, they have a great fucking team this yeah, year. Yeah. Great the, team. It's fucking great. Oh, so anyway, Patrick Chubb. We're going to lose first with this football talk. Yeah, anyway, let's talk. No, so, do you want to throw my guard club, though? What was that? <laughs> You're going to learn something there. The, the, she, she's going to blame Chrissy for this. Yes, this is yeah, all yeah. Chrissy's fault. Chrissy's the reason I don't know shit about sports ball. Chris, Chrissy's the reason that Andrew Luck retired, Brett. He was going to play. Yep. But and Chrissy, yeah. Chrissy told Listen, him to retire. Listen, I was fucking pissed. I was pissed last year when Chrissy told John Gruden to trade Khalil Mack. I was fucking heated. Yeah. I, I heard Chrissy called in the cocaine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chrissy, you bitch. Chrissy <laughs> told Kaepernick to kneel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told Kaepernick to kneel. Brett, real quick, I'm going to go through East Division in the NFL. You're going to give me your, who you think is going to win the division. AFC East. You. Patriots, yeah. Uh, AFC, AFC, okay. AFC North. Uh, I don't know. There's two there, right? Cleveland. Cleveland. As far as leading? Who's going to win it? Who do you pick? Cle the, the Browns. The Browns. No, really? Yeah, they're the best. I still think Pittsburgh will squeak in with Rapey, even without Bell and yeah. uh, Brown. All I right. think there's still a, a, a problem. AFC South. That's my opinion. AFC South. Uh, I, I, whoever wins that division will be out first round of the playoffs. That's a watch. All those teams are fucking garbage. AFC West. That's in Eight. Kansas City, right? Raiders. Uh, oh, no, Raiders. The Raiders. Brett, Sam, I know you're Raiders. You, you feel confident in the Raiders? Sam, you? what you feel. Uh, okay, now, I know it's only preseason. 3 and oh, and our defense looks like they did in 2001. Yeah. Now, as a real football fan, you know how that defense was, and I honestly think that defense. I'm still not sold on Kai. I think it's as soft as baby shit. Yeah. But I'm confident in my defense. If so, you think as a, gonna as a team, fan, I'm going to take over. Okay. All right. NFC, NFC, no, NFC East. <sighs> Eagles. No. I, yeah. It's going to be Eagles. Yeah. Yeah, dude, great. I hate them, and I fucking despise them just because of their fans. Right, the, the, the Cowboys can't win a division twice, two years in a row. They don't do it. They win every year. Cowboys, no, no, Cowboys are done. Well, they, they, they can't even decide who to pay, and I don't even think Zeke's going to play this Well, year. it's certainly not going to be the fucking Giants or the Redskins, so it's got to be the fucking Eagles. The Eagles are going to be back. They're going to win that. Yeah, division, all right. Right. Uh, NFC North. Vikings. I say Vikings, too. I think they're going to have a bounce back the year. They're going to take past the Bears in the pocket. I think, yeah. You have a decent roster, yeah. and a couple of their rookies they signed look like they could be something. Yeah. So NFC South. This is an easy one. Oof. The Saints, man. It's got to be New Orleans, right? Who else could it be? Yeah, I fucking hate them, too, because I think they got handed that thing after the hurricane. <laughs> oh, come on. They murdered the Colts. It's like, yeah. Dude, uh, and plus Bounty Gate and all that bullshit. Yeah. What about NFC West? Last one. And then I'm going to read the comments real it quick. Can't be, it can't be the fucking Seahawks because they're decimated. Yeah. It's got to be the Rams. Yeah. The Rams. Old, but it's gone. Rams. Okay. Dude, everybody's dude, saying, that's oh. such a scary team with Gurley. Yeah, it's going to be the Rams. By the way, so everybody's All saying right. in the comments right now that the cops are at Hadassah's house right now. Is there any truth to that? Everyone's saying, listen to this game. That, that, that is not. Is that, that was just sent to me in my inbox as you guys were speaking. Is it true? Wretched. Is it true? Like I see that. I see. <laughs> I see, I see people <laughs> saying. I see people saying that. How do I know that's true? Where's the evidence that's true? Where's the evidence? Uh, Caroline Crystal, said. Do you have that? Absolutely. I mean, I, I could. I can't get on the scanner right now because I'm on Skype. But um, of, I, I, my money's on of, Linda personally. You think she called? Yeah, but a lot of. Faithful turtle riders, like old school people, are saying it in the comments. Well, so I, I that, tend to believe that this might be true. But Brett, it's all coming well, I mean, from one they woman. Think it's spread like wildfire on the internet, though. Yeah. It is, like I said, it was sent to me in my inbox maybe three minutes ago. Um, but it's rumors as far as I'm concerned. And frankly, now I don't trust why the police are there anytime anyway, because God knows what kind of loon on the internet is just making shit up. Yeah, I mean, I was just sent to text That's right, Sandra. It was pretty. That's Chrissy's fault. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not Chrissy's fault. Chris. Maybe Chrissy called. I got, I got a message here from Caroline. It says, 
it's just a screenshot of people saying that um, that the cops are there. So I see no proof whatsoever that it's there. This is the difference between us and the other guys, right? When somebody says, oh, well, if somebody says they're there, that's not enough for me. That, that That's clearly not enough evidence for me. You show me. Absolutely. If somebody actually heard that on the scanner and could confirm that on the scanner, then that's different. But I don't see anybody saying that. So, anyway, we got to kind of wrap this up because it's getting short here. I'm down to 8% battery. Um, I just want to say, somebody asked, when is Turtle Boy going back to Buffalo? I'll go back to Buffalo whenever. I can't go this year because the game is in early this year. I mean, it's too late to plan it. But I will be back to Buffalo. I will make that clear. I will, I will event. Picture me not going back to Buffalo, guys. I'm going back to Buffalo, okay? I'll be there, etc. And UMass better beat Rutgers. That's correct. Anything else? Let me know. Let me know when you go back to that fucking horrible Buffalo Stadium, and I'll throw on my Howie Long jersey, and I'll go with you. Yeah. Uh, Somebody says plug your Mac. And there's no outlets in here, guys. I'm in the fucking basement. There's no outlets in here. That's the issue. So nine to eight percent. So anything you guys want to say, get it out now. And then we're gonna call it a night. All right. It's been a great show, though. I'll tell you that much. Any questions Dude, you want? Yeah, to we we missed we missed the granny gouges. We missed. The dead dog fucking broad. Yeah, we didn't get the We missed shit. that hair horse saying she got fucking raped in a fucking... Oh, we missed all yeah, right. Go back and... Yeah, Linda the... is like an epic lewd low. She's quite crazy. No, that was, that was awesome. Yeah. That was a great show. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. Uh, if you have any questions, ask them now, or else we're going to call it a night, folks. It's been a great episode. I'll tell you that much. Now I gotta uh, jump back on the streets with my heroin. This has been the biggest thing. Is there anything with your next book, man? Like, have you worked on it? Yeah, or? I'm working. I'm gonna do the Christmas. Thought about the, it. The next book is gonna be the Christmas special. Okay, I'm gonna do the um, the Turtle Boy. It's gonna be nice. the Turtle Boy naughty list, basically. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a big naughty list of who's Santa's not coming to this year, based on who's the the biggest douchebags in Turtle Boy. It's gonna be a top 100 list. Okay, I did it a couple years ago. I'm bringing it back. That's going to be my next yeah. book. I'm going to publish it every year, the Turtle Boy Naughty List. So that's coming out. You can get it for Christmas, etc. Okay. Um, I have some uh, Shoulders I great. It's McKenzie. Yeah. Wait. Go it's ahead. McKenzie said, I have a question. How did you and Brett meet? Uh, I'd love to hear your version of this. Through this the blog. Through, I just saw Brett's <laughs> comments. First time I ever met him, me and Maddie Mo went up there and did a fucking live broadcast from Brett's place in fucking up in East Bumfuck. And we had a great time. Tell you that much. So that's how I got it. People are asking, uh, how's your uh, shoulder? Shoulder's great. I got a cortisone shot. I don't know what cortisone is, but it fixes fucking everything. All right. Um, yeah. I don't know what happens. It's just magic. Um, but yeah. I do Nicky Potnick Ratchet Dictionary. I would love for me and Unc to do that. Yeah. The just different words and my made up shit and all the blog title fucking names. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I, I, rest in peace, Maddie. Oh, he ain't dead. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, why don't we call it a night then? All right. Uh, we thank everybody for joining us, and we will be back this week, Tuesday and Thursday, um, for the annual or uh, for the uh, biweekly uh, Turtle Boys Uncle Turtle Boys Late Night Garage podcast. All right. Don't forget, if you like what we do, buy something in the store. Hit us up with a little donation, whatever you want to do. Maybe hire Garage Doors Plus and tell me sent us. Whatever it takes. All right, guys. We will see you all next week. Thanks for coming on. Peace, Total Riders. Later, bitches.